I'm going to show you how I put uh, keep my disc lighted so I can play at night. First off, there's a lot of different products you can use. I like using these beacon refills. You can get them at Walmart for $2.96 for the light sticks. Usually come four to a package. Take the little stick there, you crack it, you shake it up, and it's pretty bright. I like to put mine on uh, champion plastic. We're going to use a, uh, a Firebird. Champion Firebird, we'll put that right on top of the disc. And what I like to use is um, duct tape, but it's a clear duct tape. A little stronger than the uh, clear tape you see that they put on packages that you mail out. This has got some uh, some strength to it. Take a piece about like that, about five inches long. I'm gonna put the light in the center of that, kind of roll it so that more of the tape grabs the light. I'm gonna center it on top of the disc. And there we go. You can see on either side, I'll be able to find this disc uh, in the dark of night. And it, uh, it stays on. And you can even use that piece of tape again at a later date. Just peel the light off of that and use it at a later date. So that's my overstable disc. Let's get some more lights going. We'll do this again. Crack them, shake them up. You see them glowing. These will last you. I've had them last for almost a day. Let's put this on. I'm going to use a uh, an Elite Z Buzz, and we'll put that one on this mid-range here. Put the light on the sticky side in the center. Roll it around with my fingers a little bit so that the tape grabs a lot, most of the light. I'm going to center it on top of my disc. You can put it underneath. I prefer to put it on the top because it usually lands like that and you can see it much better with the light on the top. You can still see it underneath. That's a good reason to use these translucent discs that you can see through. So you can see the light on either side for night disc golf. All right, let's get a understable. We use the end of a Champion Roadrunner here my turnover disc. Get some more tape. This tape I think goes for about seven bucks a roll. It's um, kind of pricey, but it really does the trick. I've never had one of these lights come off. This tape really sticks well. You know, if you've got the heater going in your car and you put the disc in front of the heater and get it a little warm, and even the tape, that glue will stick even better. But it seems to work even if the discs are cold. It's pretty cold tonight. It's about 28 degrees right now. So there we go. And since I have one last light, we'll go ahead and use that too. I'll get another, I think we'll get another overstable disc out. I'm going to crack it. It's plastic covered over a, um, a little glass vial. And once you break this, I guess the two chemicals mix in here. And that's what gets this thing glowing. So let's see what we're going to use as the other. I think I'll get a uh, Innova Champion Boss going. That's got a nice skip to it. Just so happens we've got some snow on the course, probably about two inches, so this will also help me see the disc if it buries under the snow a little bit. Another thing you can use in the snow is curling ribbon. Take about three feet of it and duct tape it to the top or bottom of your disc. And when the disc cuts into the snow, that little tail from the curling ribbon will stick out and make it a little easier for you to find. All right, so there's the end of a champion boss. Let's go out and play some night disc golf.